Hey guys, it's DC here and today I'm going to be telling you how you can increase your hireability by using LinkedIn. Raise it up. So a lot of people ask me uh, how I get so many roles and how I've gotten so many jobs in the past and sort of the progression I took to get those particular roles. So today I'm going to share, I guess, a little bit on exactly what I did to get those roles. Now, LinkedIn is just like one tool of a thousand, right? There are so many out there um, that you can use just like LinkedIn and there's, there's lots of other places you can search for jobs like in Australia, there's Seek or Indeed or Jora and the list goes on forever and you don't really need to use LinkedIn for that in particular um, But I do want to sort of expose how I've got most of my jobs Which is by people actually contacting me. This isn't specifically for people who want to get contract roles Although that is the majority of the jobs I get through LinkedIn It's it's also good uh, for people who just want to get a full-time job or a part-time job um, in IT So let's begin the first thing you want to do, which might sound pretty obvious, is to set up a really good looking profile. So actually put a profile picture in there. It doesn't have to be super you know, revealing, um, but at least a picture of your face. Um, I don't like to be sort of grabbed by anyone, so I like to have my, my hat air desker photo because at the moment um, I'm trying to push my startup air desker and um, I want people more to recognize the brand Airdesker rather than me. Previously, I have had photos of my face in there and um, so like professional photos that people have taken at companies, all sorts of stuff. But this is the one I'm, I'm going with at the moment. So the first thing you'll notice is at the top here, it's displaying my company, which is the startup and the university that I went to. I've written a bunch of articles on LinkedIn as well, which sort of show up at the top here. Um, but yeah, it's it's all pretty straightforward. So my about section is very generic. Over the last 10 years, I've been working professionally in the IT industry. I've picked up skills that enable me to work quickly and efficiently on projects. My goal at work is to give my customers, clients, and fellow staff the best possible result with a down-to-earth professional approach. Feel free to steal that. Um, it's been on my profile since day one, and I haven't really changed anything except for the, the years. Uh, working and I've actually been working IT over 15 years now, so um, I should probably update but whatever you can see here I've had 245 people view me uh, 55 post views because um, I do post on LinkedIn a little bit and I've been searched Oh, well, I've, so I've shown up in search results 174 times, which is pretty cool. I guess um, Considering my accounts private. That's a pretty um, Pretty high chance, but anyway um, it shows again some more articles here and history of um, the things I've liked and you know, basic activity feed. Now, the first thing you want to update here is your experience. And if you don't have much experience, that's okay. Just put in what you do have and um, yeah, just sort of go from there. So I've, I've got a fair bit of experience because I've been working in IT for a pretty long time now, but. Um, yeah, it didn't always look like this, so don't don't sort of stress out. Um, we've then got education. So university I went to, did a certificate in astrobiology once because I was very, very bored. Um, I went to TAFE and a whole bunch of other random stuff like where I went to school. I've then got listed my licenses and certifications, which is probably the most important part of LinkedIn because this is what shows up when recruiters search for you. So I got a Datto Technical Specialist 1 certification. Um, I had to get that to get partnership with them for a project I was doing. Um, the CMNO which is actually a free certification and it runs I think monthly and it's yeah it's, it's okay to get it's useful I guess. My OSCP, the CompTIA certs, um, some checkpoint certifications which actually turned out to be very useful because so many places are recruiting for IT professionals, um, especially security professionals who have either Checkpoint or Palo Alto experience or certifications. So if you have those certifications, 
they're going to absolutely love you. They're gonna, they, you will definitely show up in more search results based on that one certification. Um, so it's very useful to have. The same goes for the Comp TIAs. They're all very um, standard and, and useful to have as well. Now this section, Skills and Endorsements, is pretty useless these days. Um, it's good for some keywords, but like you can see, it just sort of shows a whole bunch of keywords of technologies that I've worked with. Um, that's not to say that I'm like a super professional at, at any of them, I guess, but um, like you can see, I, people have upvoted me for Microsoft Technologies 25 times, um, which is great, but what is that, like Windows Server, like it's very generic. And it's just for keywords, essentially. So don't worry about that too much, but definitely put in keywords that you think uh, will help you gain a job. So for example, um, firewall configuration, firewalls, disaster recovery, those ones are really good, cloud computing. Um, these things will all help you show up in recruiters' uh, search results. So definitely throw those in there. Um, even if you don't have like a strong skill, in something like, for example, let's have a look, uh, IIS. Um, I don't know if I would call myself an IIS professional, and apparently only two people out of my network consider me to be an IIS professional, but um, yeah, I threw it in there because I was trying to get an AD job at the time, and, and that's sort of what I needed to have. Moving on, um, recommendations. Now this is extremely important to have. Um, this is basically like references that every recruiter can see, right? So, as you can see here, I've, I've got a few different ones and they're all sort of from around the same time. So, 2017, 2018, they're all 2017. And um, I got these just before I changed job <laughs> because I wanted them to show up on my profile that I was such a great person um, or whatever. So... The way you can get these is by giving other people recommendations and as you can see some of these match exactly the people here and um, I basically went to those people and said if I give you a recommendation on LinkedIn can you please give me one back uh, in turn and um, they, they always say yes because everyone wants recommendations on LinkedIn because it's it's just like a referral that everyone can see right it's Someone's logging into your profile, they want to have a look and they've seen all these people have talked about how great you are. It's going to speak mountains. They're going to absolutely love it. They're going to go, oh my God, this guy is he's a star. He's, a, he's amazing. Check it out. Look at all these recommendations. Super useful. So definitely get as many recommendations as you can from friends, family. It doesn't matter. As long as they don't have the exact same last name as you. Um, it should be, yeah, it should be fine. Accomplishments, again, is it's like a repeated section from above, which is I've just put in the courses that I've done and the languages um, that I can speak. Um, there's a couple of random ones in here, like this Ruckus Associate, and that's probably the most useless certification I ever did. Um, but these two, the checkpoint ones, are good because they show up, again, in search results. and. Like I'm a checkpoint professional, so if there are any jobs out there for checkpoint professionals, I'm fairly likely to get hit by a search result uh, for someone in Brisbane, Australia, and potentially even other places of Australia if they, you know, they're going to pay for me to move or whatever. Um, they'll probably search me and and well, they'll search checkpoint and find me eventually. Last bit of the page is your interests. And this is just sort of companies that you want to work for. Um, I've got a lot of random stuff in mind now, but back in the day, I used to add um, companies that I wanted to work for um, just so that I would show up higher in their search results because that's exactly how it works. Um, there's a lot of stuff in here and I've actually worked for quite a few of these places now, either contracting or, or whatever. And it's um yeah it definitely works to help you get a job if you're already in their company followed group right and the reason is because the way this i guess algorithm works is it searches based on uh keywords links and who you follow so if you can add those particular things in there you're going to show up golden and that's perfect now the last thing you want to do 
is to add some recruiters. And I know this is going to sound like a terrible idea, but what you really want to do is to add a bunch of recruiters by searching uh, IT recruitment, for example. Up the top, you just want to change the location so it shows uh, for your geographical location and you can either even target it by companies if you really want. Um, but that's basically all you need to do there. Um, and you'll eventually see a whole bunch of recruiters. So Exclaim IT, I know these guys, they're local. Um, I share nine connections with them, which is great. Look at all these IT recruiters. So what I would do is I would add as many of them as I could. Just keep clicking through. I think there's like a limit of 150 per day on LinkedIn. Add as many of them as you can and hit them up. Just say, do you have any roles available in this? I'm looking for a job right now. And um, you'd be surprised at what sort of stuff comes back. Now, a good example of how this sort of works is on average, I get around two or three hits every week from a recruitment company or headhunter asking me uh, if I would like to join so-and-so company, this is the job, this is the responsibilities, this is how much you're going to get paid. And um, I don't even have to look for jobs, which is great. And you don't need to either if you follow the steps I've just given you. Um, what will end up happening is you'll end up showing up in so many different search results that you will eventually just get hit up every week. It might start off as once a week or once a month or whatever, but eventually you're going to start getting hammered with jobs because you've got every box ticked. Um, the other thing you can do with LinkedIn is actually search for jobs yourself. Um, maybe you want to be a founder of uh, some startup or something, whatever it is. Um, like full stack engineer, look at all this stuff coming up. Chief technology officer in Azira Corporation. Um, so yeah, you just apply through here and it allows you to apply using your LinkedIn profile. So make sure your profile is up to date with uh, all of your experience and qualifications. And um, it's basically gonna act as an online resume that you can then send through to them. Um, it's so much easier than having to submit an actual resume and um, it'll just ask you if you need to do a cover letter or, or any of that sort of stuff as well, maybe some selection criteria. But it'll ask you to do that in the form and um, yeah, it's super simple. I hope this sort of helps you guys get a job out there. Um, a lot of the time it's really useful to be super proactive in this sort of approach and um, Recruiters really love someone who's reaching out to them to get a job because they're usually the ones doing the hard yards trying to get that margin by finding as many people as they can. They just spray and pray everyone on that LinkedIn uh, keyword search and then they hit you up and then you'll go into like a, a sales funnel basically. And um, yeah, which is, is good because you'll eventually get hit for jobs. However, if you want to be really proactive, hit up the LinkedIn job search and uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much the way to do it. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Comment below if you have any questions. Please subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Catch you later.